So this is just going to be how to configure your your table in your database here. So I'm just going to show you on a demo on my local computer, so it's just local host, just to show you. So what you do is, after you've created a database, I have called opt-in database. Um, generally, these like the emails and the autoresponders don't work on local host environment unless um, you've got an STM MP server on it. Anyway, doesn't matter. Um, so basically, you have database or you can append this to another database just hit the SQL tab go to there and you get all this stuff just copy it yeah C copy control C control V paste it in there and hit go and you get your SQL query has been run successfully and then now when you go to structure you see that a new database table not named opt-ins is in there um, and we can, we can browse it and we can already see that uh, it has you know some sample data in there just just something easy you can just delete that if you want to anyway um, but that's how you just make the, the table opt-ins again you if you wanted to you could just append or make a new table called opt-ins in any other database that you have but for simplicity's sake all right so there's only a few files in there. We've already seen how to how to make the table. Um, now let's let's just um, work out the config.php. So I'm just going to open it up with your text editor. Editor. I'm going to use Dreamweaver. Um, but basically, um, in, there's in you know, instructions in this file about how to f how to fill this out. But I'm just going to show you how um, to connect to the database um, and just kind of get this script going. Anyway. <coughs> configure the database settings um, 999 times it's going to be localhost database username so uh, generally this is again for my local test environment just on like a WAMP server um, but I will show you the live example soon but for security reasons I'm not going to be showing you my database username and password that would be just silly um, so this so we're not going to work out the autoresponder emails in this one it's just going to be about how to connect to the database and then show you when they do fill out the form that that um, it will go into the database anyway. So, so my username on my local computer is root. Uh, password is Taggart. That's me. Um, and the database I just made was opt-in database. And the table that I'm using is opt-ins. Right. So now note that that's just a variable. If you wanted to, you can take this SQL script. You know, and see it says opt-in database. Yeah, and table opt-ins. You can change that opt-ins to whatever you want. But remember, in the config file, in the config file, change it, change it there. Okay. All right. Anyway. So, get the you. So that's the database out of the way. Um, now it's your email address. So my email address is going to be here's my, one of my work ones. Um, so you just put this is the the email address you want um, whenever someone fills out the opt-in form to get an email from with like a note that says our new opt-in suite um, also <coughs> we're trying to we're trying to make it really easy here so so the auto respond from email so you've always always seen these for like no reply at your domain dot com it's just an example it could be a real you know a real email address Ma makes no makes no difference right, at this point in time anyway just the that's the auto respond from email address now uh, we want the redirect URL. Now, the redirect URL is the redirect um, after they fill out the form. So, after it gets successfully processed, um, inserted into the database, then you, it wants to re redirect. So, like, you know, that could be like thank you dot HTML or whatever. I'm just going to have it go to dynamicadwords.com. Right? And now it's just your website URL. So, um, for simplicity's sake, I'm just going optinscripts.com, and the re then then there's a redirect after confirm email address. Now this could be a download link or you know it could be whatever, but redirect after confirm, and so there's a special meaning for that, and I'll we'll show you that pretty soon. So anyway, let's just make sure that this this works. So I'm just going to save it, and then then in my Web server here. I 
again, this is not going to uh, send any emails because I don't have STMP enabled on my web server. But um, let's just go to the free opt-in script directory here. That was the, the um, file we just configured. And now there's this form HTML. So now we have a name and we have an email. All right. So my name is test test. <laughs> And my email is going to be hello at dot com. Subscribe now. And if we do this right, we will go to dynamicadwords.com to redirect you to URL. So subscribe now. I'm going so I have gone to dynamicadwords.com, but the good thing is in oops sorry in PHP my admin in my database opt-in database in opt-ins I can now see that test test and hello hello dot com and my confirm is zero that's a good thing okay so moving on let's really uh, get in so that's kind of in the config file right now there's also confirm and there's also opt-in for mail and the form so let's just open the form really quickly open with okay. um, form ID it's just HTML it could be PHP I've actually you know done it like you would do in PHP PHP um, but just call it HTML for the heck of it let's just look at the code here so it's got an ID so if you want to CSS style it it's up to you right it's just a basic thing that looks yeah you've all seen these before um, anyway <coughs> so going you know going down we just got the name max input values and stuff like that now we also have these custom fields input name and their type hidden but right, there's instructions here if you want like say if you don't want just name email you maybe want a phone number you could you know change change this value instead of type hidden to type text and then you can value the custom one and then you can go design and you'll see it pops up and you be like phone number or whatever you know it's not I'm not sure, trying to show you how to HTML and code but you'll get the picture if you if you know anything about HTML anyway so there's some custom fields in there that that um, that kind of work and you'll note that in the database there's custom one custom two with the values so if that could be a phone number or a message quite easily anyway we're trying to cover a lot of bases here anyway so subscribe and subscribe now so that's how you just change it but and you note the form action is post and it's the opt form mail .php script method post right. so that's the form covered you can just basically anywhere um, you want to you can just copy that or wherever you've uploaded your opt-in your op for mail for PHP you can give it the full you know HTTP reference to that to that if you wanted to that's cool generally just copy and copy that and then paste that wherever you want to in your website as long as you've got the right path okay now let's see where all the magic kinda happens so it's op for mail PHP now you do don't really have to go into this so much, but you do if you want to ed edit um, the auto response.